Just saying hi and how did the first day of practice go, Cody? I thought it went really well. Uh, we have a good group of core players that are going to be playing with us, so they have a lot of uh, internal knowledge to just hit the hit the floor running. We did what we say and what we install. They already know, so the execution level is high. And then our rookies are, you know, they're ready to go. So they applied what we taught um, pretty easily as well. I was happy with today. With Shaden having not played, you know, competitively for basically a whole year, is the plan to, since you guys want to actually get eyes on him in this kind of competition, are you going to roll him out there for a lot of minutes the whole time, or is the idea to ramp him up and kind of work back in slowly? I think the idea is to play him and to manage him as the game goes. You know, I don't want any of our guys to be out there um, playing all 40 minutes. I don't want him playing necessarily 35 minutes. But we'll make a minutes chart and have a substitution plan. And if he's playing better, then we let him roll. If he's looking like he needs a break, you know, that's all game management stuff. But he's a terrific athlete, and he's in great shape. So the plan is to just coach him like a basketball player right now. As a coach, what are you hoping to accomplish that summer? Um, well, we'd like to win. You know, anything that you do competitively, you want to win the game first. But we want our guys to grow. We want them to, to learn how to win. That's a uh, really important thing to us, is not to just go out there and try to have an individual goal. We want to learn how to win games and execute both offensively and defensively. So we want to see growth uh, within the team, especially with the guys that you guys got to see a lot of um, game minutes from at the end of our season last year. We'd like to see how they progressed. I was going to ask about that. You have a lot of young players who saw a lot of minutes down the stretch. So is this not the normal summer league team in terms of experience level because we're last year. Yes, I'm what I guess not the normal it just depends where level. it just depends where you're at cuz um, there'll be a couple teams that we play against that have three or four guys that went through this process of getting the the minutes the, the way that our guys did but it doesn't hurt at all that they're able to have the experience going into this. A lot. Anytime that you have an understanding of what the expectation is, how to execute, it, it helps a tremendous amount. It helps everybody that hasn't played. They, the rookies function much better. The two rookies, how quickly have they picked everything up so far? Well, there's a lot of information thrown at them today, a ton. It was about a two hour practice. Uh, some, you know, just light walk through at the beginning, but They've never, it's a different language. It's not a different sport by any means, but it's a different language, and, and they picked it up very well. How did you get, how did they decide on you? It's always interesting to me how they decide which assistant coach is coaching the summer league. How did that I, To be honest, I asked Chauncey uh, if I could coach it. He said yes. So <laughs> that's a. You got to his office I beat everybody, and I was in at 530 that day. <laughs> and so when you're coaching, are you mostly just Chauncey or whoever just kind of let you just run everything for this practice and just kind of let you be in charge of it or do the other, like the other people on the staff? Run? How involved is everybody else? Everyone is super involved. This is an opportunity for all of us to take that next seat up. You know, for myself as an assistant coach under Chauncey, my job is to provide ideas and his job is to accept those ideas and put them into play. In this role, now I'm, I'm doing those duties. Um, it's the same as what we do during the regular season, so I'm not making anything up that they haven't seen. So it's a collaborative effort. We've had many camps in the past week. This is how we've structured our practices. I'm a, I have an understanding of how he wants to play, so I try to execute his vision. And I assume that you guys just, you just basically try to run the same things you run during the season under Chauncey, or do you, do you dumb it down? Like, kind of, how do you approach that? Uh, we, it's much less because of the time, okay? But we want to see them execute with what we give them, and um, there's just not enough time to put in it, the entire playbook. Dumbing down is probably not the way. Right? <laughs> You said it, not me. <laughs> Position? Yeah. I think uh, Shaden is a wing. I think the way the NBA is played now, the the shooting guard, small forward position is 
um, less of a of a true position. I mean, there's there's the LeBron James that are that are small forward, but he's going to play a wing. Keon and him will play the wing, so they'll both be the two and the three, and Jabari will play uh, the four spot.